All right, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite spots to harvest uh, rawhide. And we're just going to jump right into it. And basically what you want to do is you want to go all the way down the cutlass and go to the Marshview Shrine right here. And then you're going to travel straight south from there in front of Fort Ramos. Ramos, however you call it. And I would highly recommend you put on your skinning gear. Give you extra luck. And have a common proficiency booster. Now what you're going to do when you're out front, you'll see the main gate right here. There's plenty around. You can hit that guy, number one. There's number two. There's another one that spawns right here. It should respawn any second. There's another one right there. There's number four. And there's three more inside there. And then there's two more to the right. And you can harvest them all together. Or in sections if you want. Let's get started. I'll show you. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four, there's five, there's six. Now you just take out your other weapon. You just dice them up real quick. I would prefer to have a long range weapon, a musket, a bow, a void gauntlet, ice gauntlet, anything that can aggro somebody from a distance. It's just a lot easier and a lot less running around. Now, as you can see, I'm just racking them up right now. And you can do this every 30 seconds. So you're going to get a full bag in probably a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And I have a 1,000-pound bag limit. Very easy to do. Now, while I'm here, I'll just go over here to this side to show you the other two. Now, if there is somebody here fighting and taking them all, you can run a lap around here. Oh, man, my aim is terrible. Maybe I'm not even... There we go. What you can do is do a lap around here, and there is going to be these pointers all around the area. You can see them up there. They're all over the place. So if somebody's in there harvesting those three, there's actually more on the outside perimeter than on the inside. The only difference is on the inside, it's a little bit easier, and you don't have to move around as much. Okay. Oh, I forgot a dog. And there's also another dog right there, if I wanted to. This is usually good for one, maybe two people if you wanted to take it easy. But you can get this done really fast if you have a solo. Now, say there's a lot of people here or they're fighting you over each spot and you're just not liking it. I will go ahead and show you my secondary spot that's just as good. It's a little bit less, but it's still just as good and does exactly what you need. And I'm going to take you there now. All right, we're back for the second part here. Now, where we're at, we are in Monarch Bluff, just west of Everfall here. There's Everfall right there. Oh, that's Winsward, I'm sorry. Everfall is right here. It's pretty much equidistant from these two. Anyway, we're going to go right here to the Akernar Gate. And from there, we're going to go directly west, right here to the Awful Grotto. Now, at the Grotto... There's going to be a whole bunch of level 16 links here, and that's what we're after. And there's two ways you can do it. You can just run around in a circle, and you can farm them that way, or you can just hit them from afar with, uh, like, a long-range attack like that and aggro them over towards you. Me, I prefer, because of the layout of the terrain, uh, I prefer just to run by them and then stop in a central location and just attack them all and do it that way. And I'll give you an example right here. So there's also a couple iron spots. There's a couple of life moss and stuff like that here if you want to grab those, but we're not here for that right now. Okay, we're going to get that guy. There's two. There's a third one right there. There's a fourth one right here. Hello. And there's a fifth one right here. Okay. Okay. And you get some decent XP for it, for whatever weapon you're trying to grind. And we just do this real quick. Now, these respawn just as fast as the other spot down there at Fort Ramo, so do not worry about that. Um, this is also a low contested spot. Now, if you're in a low to a medium pop server, you should be fine most of the time doing all this. You shouldn't be fine. The only time you're going to find a really big deal... Um, a really hard time, a really big deal about uh, going about it is uh, if you're in a high pop server and it's just a lot of people. Now, walking around the outside, 
There usually is one right there. He hasn't respond yet. There's usually a couple floating around out here. And then there's one right there. And we're pretty much back right where we started. After the update, it looks like they took out one or two of these two. To kind of nerf the area a little bit, but it's still very vibrant. Alright. And that's pretty much how you find my favorite hide spots. Now, what I do with these hide spots is I turn everything in the course rugged leather and then layered leather because I'm grinding my armor right now. So that's just kind of why I'm doing these runs specifically because I think they're the best uh, time managed. You get more for your time here than anywhere else. So this is really a time saver doing this. So if you find a better spot or you know a better spot, feel free to let me know. Until the next guide, I appreciate everybody stopping by and watching this video. I hope it helps. Thank you so much.